uh, it's tough for Sheffield United because they were having some financial issues when they went up. They sold Sanderberg to um, Burnley. Burnley. And they're also um, their top goal scorer, I think it was, um, they didn't retain him as well. Yeah, so he was Dye, gone. He went out to Marseille. And Dai, yeah. He so. uh, absolutely tore the championship apart. Um, and then you feel sorry for the mag- manager. Um, is it Paul Higg- Higginbottom? Higginbottom, yeah. He, um, he gets him promoted on a shoestring. And then he's kind of like, what do you do now? No mm. investment. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, finished on 16 points, conceded mm-hmm. 104 goals. I think that's a Premier League record, it's isn't record, it? Record, yeah. Um, yeah. What What do you make of Sheffield United season, and um, how? What's the best that they can hope for next season in the Championship? Because it's going to be tough for them. Yeah, it'd be, I mean, flip it out. I'm glad I wasn't in defence then, because it'd probably be about 204. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think from their point of view, I think look, it, it was tough. Like you said, it was always going to be tough, and I've been fortunate enough to meet. Um, Paul Hagenbott over this summer doing some courses and stuff like that and all I can say first and foremost what a great guy is what yeah. and and like you say you meet few and far between in terms of really nice people in football you hope them to do well but obviously the situations that occurred at Sheffield what, what's happened happened I think it, if anything I think cause this is the first time in a long time years maybe that it's even happened where all for three promoted yeah. teams have gone back down again I think yeah. if anything it's it's highlighting how big a jump it is now, and I think a lot of that may be because of the new PSR rules and, and things like that, because I think it's there's sort of limitations now on even the clubs coming up, how much they can spend to yeah. sort of compete, really, now, which is even harder. Um, but I think, like you say, Chef, you are in a situation now where, not the same as, as Yeovil per se, but they've almost had to take a few steps back now to sort of rebuild. Uh, and just, it, it'll all be, again, with all the teams that have gone down, Chef, you even more so probably, because like you said, how they sort of, ended up with such limited points it's all about how they start the yeah. first five six games will be massive and that will set the tone because mm-hmm. um, if you get off to a bad start you'll know what it's like yeah. and it can be horrific yeah. so how was it like mentally as a defender if you're going out and, like they've obviously shipped a lot of goals mm. this year mentally how do you how do you bounce back every week yeah, I think it's yeah. one of them as well. If you're not scoring at the other end, it makes it even worse because you think flipping it, if we concede here, we're in even more bigger trouble because we ain't scoring as well. So I think that's the sort of... So it, it probably makes you an edge more than anything, I, I would say. Because like you say, you know you need to probably score two or three to even win a game or get close to win a game a number of times. Like you say, if they're shipping so many goals, I think they got done seven or eight by Newcastle and they got done yeah. six a few one, times. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah, and football, I'm a great believer in terms of the standard of players other than when you go to the upper echelons are few and far between like at League 2 you've still got as good a players in League 2 as what you have in the Championship they just obviously may not have had the break for whatever reason so I think a lot of it is confidence and like you say if you've only got battered week in week out whatever your confidence is gone shot yep. and that's hard to get out of as much as when you're winning that's a, hard, a nice way to, room yeah. to, habit, to be yeah. in a habit to be yeah. in exactly that yeah. and it can usually go the other way when you're you're not winning so much I mean for a personal example when we played for Peterborough and we got uh in the championship, I think we lost the first eight games the first time. And like you say, it was felt like we were never going to get a win. And then flipped it the other side of Christmas and we won 12 on the, or won tw- 10 out of 12 or something like that. So again, it can just show you how quickly things can change. And like you say, that's where it comes down to all the people you've got in the change room. That takes a real skill as leadership from the top, management, everything. You all need everyone to buy in. Do you think sometimes, I don't know if it happened in your career, managers are bringing in a bit of new blood, new players can help maybe shift that mentality? Uh, or yeah. do you think there's other things that are more important? I think it's probably, I mean, players and things like that can, like you said, can get changed on a whim at the end of the day. All you are as a player is a commodity to a club. If you're no yeah. use, you can easily get shipped in and out. So again, higher up is probably easier to do sometimes. Um, but yeah, I think that all, again, comes down from to the start, right from the top of a club in terms of setting that, uh, I mean, everyone talks about culture nowadays. That seems to be the buzzwords and things like yeah. that. But I think it is important that you do, you get things like that right. But as much as people can use all the buzzwords in the world, all it is is basically just getting good people in good places and, and making everyone feel important, whether that's the cook, the cleaner, the mm. top brass, your top striker. Everyone's got a part to play within the club to to make it what it is. And like you say, you can have an organisation with 15,000 employees or one with five. If you all feel part of something and have got a clear objective, I think that's the most important. You can catch the full episode here and you can subscribe to the channel here.